Hello and welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is the second episode of how to create Android games with Unity. So in the last video we have actually set up the Android SDK and the JDK. So we are almost done in the Android side. So in this video we're going to actually set up our Unity editor so th that it recognizes where our Android SDK is really is in our computer. And so we actually have to set up the path of the Android SDK inside the Unity editor. And along with that we're going to also download and install another piece of software called Unity Remote. Unity Remote is going to be very 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 useful while developing for Android. So let's get started. So first thing you have to do is just go ahead and go to Google Play. You can go to Google Play from here. Uh, I would recommend you to go to Google Play from your mobile device and download uh, something called Unity Remote. So go ahead and search for uh, go ahead and search for Unity Remote. And once you have done that, it will give you uh, once you have searched writing Unity Remote, it will give you a couple of options. And from there, you just go ahead and click on this called Unity Remote 4. Once you have done that, you will uh, Unity Remote 4 will open and make sure the publisher is Unity Technologies. Okay, and this is what Unity Remote. So what Unity Remote does is uh, suppose you were developing an Android game in Unity. So what will happen is if you make a small change and you want to test it, you have to actually publish it as an Android app and then you have to copy it in your um, Android device and then you have to test it in your Android device. So that's a pretty lengthy process. So you have to build for Android, publish an Android app, then you have to copy that to your Android mobile or tablet and then you can install it and after that you can test it. So that's a pretty long process. So what Unity Remote does is it helps you to test the Android controls uh, directly inside the unity editor so if you see this picture here uh, if you see this screenshot from the unity remote here as you can see that the game is actually uh, running or playing inside the unity editor and you can directly control it by your android device from here so as an example uh, suppose there is no unity remote and there is no android device so how will you test the touch controls and the tilt controls and the accelerometer controls directly so that is what unity remote is for it helps you to uh, test the touches the accelerometer and all other controls that are that are for the android device directly inside the unity editor so that you don't have to install this app again and again inside your uh, tablet or mobile so all you have to do is download this Unity Remote 4 into your Android device. So once you have downloaded it and install it, uh, once you have downloaded and installed it, you have to actually set up this Unity Remote, uh, set up Unity so that it gets recognized the Unity Remote. So when you open this Unity Remote, you will see something like this. It will say that connect this device with a USB cable with your computer and press play in the Unity Editor to test. So first of all, what you have to do is you have to connect this device via a USB to your computer. And then you have to go to Editor, then you have to go, uh, in Unity you have to go to Edit, then Project Settings, then Editor, and then you have to select a device. We're going to take a look at this in a few seconds. First of all, let us go, take a look at this. So all you have to do is this, okay? But you also have to uh, you also have to activate the USB debugging in your device. The USB debugging uh, is not actually uh, automatically enabled, or the developer options are not automatically enabled in the newer Android devices. As you can see, it's the Android Lollipop 5.0, and here the USB debugging is not enabled directly. If you are an, are an older Android device like 2.3 or 4.0 or anything like that, then you can uh, check out USB debugging inside the developer options. Okay, so you just go to settings, then you just go to developer options, and from there you will uh, see the option USB debugging. So all you have to do is check this box, and after that, allow USB debugging. So you you have to. You, you have to enable USB debugging in order to develop for Android. Otherwise, it will your computer will not actually recognize this Android device. Uh, 
Now come to the new devices. In new Android devices, this USB debugging is not activated by default. So all you have to do is you have to go to settings, then you have to go to then you have to go to about phone tab. From settings, you have to go to about phone, then from there you have to go to the build number and you have to tap seven times on this build number with your finger. So tap seven times on this build number and after that it will pop up that you are now a developer and the developer options will get unlocked. So now we can check, the, now you can select the developer options and from here you can check the USB debugging. Okay, so this is how you enable USB debugging in newer Android devices. Okay, so after you have done all of that, after you have installed Unity Remote and you have enable USB debugging you have set up your Android device to work with Unity so now all you have to do is connect it with your computer by using your USB cable okay so connect it with your computer now so next what you're gonna do is we're gonna select we're gonna create a new project in Unity so let's go and open up Unity and we're gonna create a new Android project to test what we have done so open up Unity Come on, come on, open man. Oh, four. Okay, here you go. So, create a new project, and I'm gonna name it Android Tutorial. And I'm gonna select 2D here. Now, select Create Project. So Unity will create a project and by default the project is set as uh, Windows, Mac and Linux standalone. But don't we don't want to do that. Since we are we want to develop for Android, so we actually have to uh, change the platform to change the build settings to Android so that we can actually test and build for Android devices. Okay. So once Unity opens, you have to change the build settings from uh, Windows Linux Mac standalone to Android okay so here is Unity it has opened and it is actually loading the project that we have created right now okay so once Unity has been opened you have to go to file then go to build settings and from here as you can see the PC Mac Linux standalone is selected by default so from here you have to select Android and now from here you just select switch platform so now we can see our current platform is Android okay so now just cross that out as you can see now Android is written here so our project is now targeting Android device so now we actually have to set the path to the Android SDK from the Unity editor so that it can detect the Android SDK in our computer so you have to go to file uh, you have to go to edit and then you have to go to preferences and from the preferences just go to external tools and in the external tools as you can see here's Android SDK location so from here we just click on that and a pop-up will open and from there you can actually say actually select the location of Android device on your Android SDK on your device now I have set it up inside my D Android SDK so you have to select this SDK folder where SDK is actually uh, installed so select that now you have to set up you have to select the location of the JDK where you have installed the JDK you, have, you remember in the last tutorial we have actually installed JDK so you can click on that and also select the location of the JDK now in my case it's here so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna select that okay so after that after you have installed after you have set up the Android SDK and the JDK now let's test out the unity remote so in order to test the unity remote first of all uh, make sure to connect it to your uh, to your computer and I told you again and again that connect it to your computer before starting unity okay unity editor so first of all you connect your device to your computer and then start the unity editor okay and make sure the build setting is on uh, the USB debugging is on now from here you can go to edit project settings editor 
Now from editor as you can see first of all you see the option called unity remote and here you can see an option called device. So from here you can see none is shown here. So all you have to do is go here and click on any Android device. So once you select any Android device now it will select any Android device and your game will actually be shown inside that unity remote. So make sure Unity Remote is turned on on your device and after that you open Unity then select this device from here. Now just press this play button from here and you will be able to see this Unity Editor view inside your Unity. Just play this button and now I can see this blue, this blue thing in my Unity Editor, in my Unity Remote Android device. So if you have done everything correct, you will also be able to see this thing right here. So this makes our job a lot easier. So once we want to test anything, we just test it directly by connecting it to Android Remote, by connecting it to Unity Remote and just testing the touches in it and testing the accelerometer in it and the Unity uh, and it will automatically be updated in Unity Editor. Okay. So you can check, you can test all the controls by using this Unity Remote on your Android device directly inside the Unity Editor. So this is very very useful actually when developing for Android. So this is the end of this episode. I hope you guys find it helpful. From the next videos we will actually start writing codes for Android. We will first of all learn how to control, how to use the touch controls in Android so that whenever you touch it gets detected. Then we will learn about swipe controls like Temple Run or uh, Subway Surfers where you swap your finger and player jumps. Then we will also learn about multi touches in Android devices. Then we will learn about the accelerometer control and how to do that and then we'll finally learn how to build for Android and publish it on Google Play. So I hope you guys will enjoy the next videos. So thank you very 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 much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe that button, uh, click on the subscribe button and make sure to hit the like button uh, so that uh, I know you guys liked it so please hit the like button. So in the next videos uh, we'll have a lot of fun and so see you in the next video. Thank you very very much for watching and have a great day. Thanks.